Hi, fans of high quality entertainment. Larry Graves here. How are you? I thought I would do a top 10 list of what I consider, for me, the funniest people in the world. Be they stand up comedians or actors or whatever. And so I've made a list. And, but before I tell you my top 10, I'm going to list quite a few funny people that I think are hilarious, but they didn't make my top ten. And I would love your thoughts on who you think are some of the funniest people in the comments section below, and if you agree with my list. <clears throat> so, some of the people that, that did not make my top ten, but I still love, include Don Rickles, Johnny Carson. So... I, I'm also going to mention a, a few comedians in here that people seem to love, but I just don't get or I don't appreciate their humors as much. So here we go. I love Don Rickles, Johnny Carson. Now, Bill Murray, I've never found that funny. I, I like it when he does that, uh, the really bad singer on when he used to be on Saturday Night Live, the, the lounge singer. I thought that was hilarious. But otherwise, he's he's good, but he's not a favorite of mine. <clears throat> Tina Fey. I don't know her very well, although she does a superb impersonation of uh, Sarah Palin. Adam Sandler. I don't find him funny. I'm sorry. Maybe on Saturday Night Live with some of his songs or whatever, but his movies. Just, no. <sighs> Eddie Murphy, great. Will Ferrell, yeah, I, I, I like him. John Cleese, all of, the, all of the guys from Monty Python. Jim Carrey, yes, one of, one of the funniest people for sure, although movie-wise, they're, they're, it's hit and miss with his movies. Robin Williams, hilarious. Steve Martin, genius, or close to a genius. And a damn good banjo player, too. Woody Allen, mainly for his earlier movies, like, uh, I can't even name them all, but they're hilarious. <clears throat> ben Stiller, love some of his movies. Uh, Meet the Parents is probably my favorite. But I love his, oh, I'm sorry, no is my second favorite. My favorite is there's there's something about Mary. He is oh damn he's funny in that movie. Ah, Lucille Ball, respect. Andrea Martin from SCTV. Eugene Levy, basically everybody from uh, from SCTV. Larry Linville who played uh, Frank Burns on MASH. I found that character so damn funny. Jack Black, he's good. Very talented. Uh, Rowan Atkinson, pretty funny. Mike Myers, I mean, kind of hit and miss with him, but his Austin Powers movies are, are great. Rick Moranis, he was hilarious in the, first, uh, in the original Ghostbusters and also on SCTV. Chris Farley. Uh, George Carlin, Richard Pryor, Mel Brooks, Jerry Seinfeld, Chevy Chase. Uh, once again, hit and miss. And my favorite of his is, of course, Christmas Vacation. And he was, and he was very good on uh, Saturday Night Live, of course. Dan Aykroyd from Kingston, Ontario, which is only like 60 miles from here. Joe Flattery from SCTV. Rodney Dangerfield, Carol Burnett, Peter Sellers. Charlie Chaplin, Dave Thomas from SCTV, Harold Ramos from SCTV, Conan O'Brien, I find very, very witty, and Owen Wilson. I really like him in some movies. And now for my top ten. Are you ready? Number ten, Don Knotts. I loved him in Andy Griffith with his character Barney Fife. Loved it. I didn't care for him later on when he uh, did Three's Company. I didn't find that funny at all, but his Barney Fife 
just hilarious. Andy Kaufman. He's just, he was just so, what I loved about him is he wasn't just, you know, a stand-up comedian. He was crazy. You couldn't, you wouldn't know if he was being sincere or not, if he was acting. And he was just brilliant. Steve Carell from The Office. I really admire his work on The Office. And also the movie uh, Forty Year Old Virgin. He was superb in that. So, uh, and a really great actor. And funny, funny, funny. I didn't see his other movies, though, which I, I've heard aren't that great. Like uh, Get Smart. <clears throat> Sasha Baron Cohen. I was just watching yesterday on YouTube some of his Allie G interviews and. And he is so damn funny, and the wine drinking one. And now, I don't find everything he does hilarious, though. Like the movies for uh, for Borat, I I thought it was just it just didn't wasn't that funny. But the individual skits with Borat or Ali G are really really good. And the other uh, gay character he plays is. My least favorite, but sometimes I do laugh at that character. So, number six would be a lady, Catherine O'Hara from SCTV. You might know her also from being the mother in the, the original Home Alone. Uh, plus, I just, I always had a crush on her back in the day. She's just uh, brilliant, just naturally funny. Number five, Martin Short. So many funny characters. Uh, the, the guy with the hair sticking up, I forget his name at the moment, and, and uh, is it uh, something Rogers Jr., the albino, and s some of his movies I don't really care for, but his, his skits on uh, SCTV and also Saturday Night Live, the, the year that he was on, were uh, I'm running out of words to say. Hilarious. Superb. Great. <clears throat> Number four. Maybe some of these you might not know as well as the other ones I've list listed, but number four for me is Fred Willard. Just his deadpan humor is so damn funny. He's in the uh, he plays small roles in movies like uh, Waiting for Guffman with Christopher Guest and The Best in Show, and he's just got these little scenes, and, and he basically almost steals the movie. And I also remember him. Now, if you're old like me, you might remember uh, with Martin Mull, he was the co-host of uh, Fernwood Tonight, which I loved back in the 70s. Some of you weren't born then. <clears throat> Number three. Now this is a guy that I think almost everybody loved. And he was funny to boot. John Candy. And of course my favorite is long, as, along with other people's trains, planes, and automobiles with... Uh, I'm losing my mind here. Steve Martin. This is what happens when you get old. Where am I? Number two, some of you young people will say, what the, what the hell is that? Laurel and Hardy, back in the, I guess, the, started in maybe the 20s and the 30s, and 40s, 50s, I don't know, back in the day. And as funny as Stan Laurel was, I think Oliver Hardy was just as talented and being the, uh, you know, the sidekick and maybe not getting quite as many laughs, but his expressions alone were really funny. And a lot of those uh, Laurel and Hardy movies and shorts just made me laugh my butt off. And number one for me, probably not number one for a lot of you, but you really should check him out. 
Christopher Guest. He was on Saturday Night Live for one year, along with uh, Martin Short. He plays the guitarist in This Is Spinal Tap, and he's done these movies like uh, The Best in Show, Waiting for Guffman, and uh, A Mighty Wind. And he plays these characters, you wouldn't know it was him. They're, they're so distinct, such distinct characters, and he ad-libs quite often in, in these movies, and he is just so funny. So that is my top 10 funniest people. And I would love your thoughts in the comment section below. And also, uh, people that I've mentioned that, that I like, that you don't find funny yourself. Be interested. I read each and every comment, so thank you if you leave a comment and thumbs up the video.